Bye. <laughs> so, let's go. Hello, queens. This is Marie Tiko here bringing you another hair tip. You know, last week I showed you ladies how to lay the edges. All of this. Tell y'all how to do that. If you haven't watched that, please go back to my last video from last week and learn how to do it because you're going to need it for this hair look. So, I'm going to show you ladies. You know, I am a hairstylist and I do a lot of sub salon work and then I also do a lot of bridal work. Now, ladies, <laughs> when I go to the weddings after I've done the bride and stuff like that, you know, it's not all of them that I go, but I try to go to them. Do you, I really get sad when I see all the ladies and how sometimes ladies <laughs> struggle with our hair and I think weddings are the last place you will struggle with your hair. I mean, you get invited like three, four months ahead. You never know who you're gonna meet. And if you're single, weddings are a great place to meet, you know, the other your significant personal person. <laughs> and then if you're hooked, well, it can make you stay hooked, okay? You don't know who you're gonna meet at these weddings, so it's very paramount that your hair is together, okay? So I thought, let me come and show you ladies how to do an easy, you know, bun that you can wear to your next wedding and you know, if your hair is right, it'll even matter how it is. If your hair is right, everything right. So, let's get right into it. Okay? So, I have my long ponytail. And I'm going to just make a simple bun. And you're going to need this, a long hair, for, to, for stuffing, and then a net, like this. So, basically, with the long hair, and then you're going to need pins. That's it. Oh, and some hairspray. Literally, that's all you need for this look. Very easy. So you're gonna have the hair, you're gonna turn it upside down like this, okay? And then you're gonna just start rolling it down. Let me pull back to see if you guys can see me better. You're gonna just start rolling it down. See the hair? You're gonna just start rolling it down. And then at this point, when it comes down, you can hairspray and then spray all over it. Now, I want my, my bun, you're gonna shape it to how you want your bun to be. I want my bun to come from ear to ear as like a croissant. It's called a chignon. So, if I'm doing chignon, I like to make it into a, a circle like this and then I fold the sides in. I want it very big, so I'm going to make it like big. I'm going to fold the sides in until I get the, the length that I want it. So I'm going to put it back here to check. You see how it's coming outside my ears? It's coming outside my ears. It's not coming outside my ears. You see how it's, you know, like framing my ears, I guess you could say. That's how I want it. So I want to just tuck a little bit of the sides. Spray, 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 spray. I'm gonna use my net. You can use any. You can buy these nets from from Walmart, Sally's. It's, it's, it's like a dollar. So then I'm gonna wrap it around. This will be my stuffing for my hair. I'm gonna wrap it around. Ooh, make sure it's tight, okay? So basically, I'm rolling it inside of it like this. And then you want it to, you know, have movement to it, like be solid in it. So just like, just doing this to create the shape. This is what I'm going to use for my bun. It's that easy, guys. So I'm going to spray it some more. I'm going to spray it some more. And I'm going to have my hair. I'm going to comb out my hair. I comb it to you. And you guys. This easy, legitly. So this is my long ponytail. I made it straight. Now I'm gonna mold it. Make sure that everything has been arranged. So I like to hairspray my hair. Hairspray my hair. Now, when you're doing this, make sure that you have some pins on hand, okay? For real, because you're gonna need it quick. Or like your mouth before you start. Don't put it in your mouth. I should have said that, you guys. Don't put it in your mouth, but 
can do whatever you want. I'm gonna put it on my clothes right now. It's not really hygienic, right? So you're gonna get it like this. Okay. Then I'm gonna wrap it around. So after you wrapped it around the end, you're gonna take it out, you're gonna pull it out. And then you're just gonna roll it down. Okay. Okay. Now make sure that this side right here is clean. A good way to do that is to get your hairspray. Put hairspray right down. See that? You guys? It's so easy. It's so easy. And if you see that, you guys, look. See how my hair is uh, outside? I'm then gonna go inside like this and pin it, pin the hair. Just inside. Just to secure it. And you can do this if you have long hair, it works better. But if you have short hair, that too is fine. If you have shorter hair, you just use more stuffing and make it more thicker. So after you're done, you get this look. You can do more stuff, but I ain't doing more stuff. I just really want it to be easy for you to do at home, so I'm not gonna make it too complicated. So right now I'm just stuffing extra hairs down. If I can do it on myself, you can do it on yourself. And this is the look. So pretty, so elegant. Hold on. And this is the bag. Thank you for watching. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, you already know what to see Seiko Style for your girl. I will only get you Seiko, okay? That's what I'm here for. So I and subscribe to me, follow me on my social media. I've left all the information down below the video. So go ahead and look at that. And thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate it. I hope that you did. If you have any questions, comment down below. And um, yeah, thank you. Mwah. Have a good day, guys. Or a good week. Until then, next time. <laughs> See ya.